Today, more than 30 PFAS pesticides are authorized in Europe. One of the most urgent environmental and health crises of our time, which is of course the PFAS pesticides and the TFA contamination in Europe's water sources. This is a synthetic chemical that is increasing in every media that we can measure. It is increasing in the ice cores, it's increasing in our groundwater, it's even increasing in our tree leaves and in our human blood. Um, TFA is an upcoming issue with us because it is a metabolite uh, for pesticides. Um, and we found out in Germany that there are different sources, industrial sources, pharmaceuticals, um, refrigerants, but also pesticides. And it turns out that pesticides are the major source for the groundwater contamination that we have, especially in agricultural areas. TFA is increasingly present in our drinking water resources, be it surface surface water or also groundwater resources. What we see that is the sources of this pollution are continuing to emit PFAS. So there is no clear policy to phase out PFAS that degrade into TFA. We did investigate water from different origins last year and we did find mainly TFA, which is the smallest but the most uh, widely distributed PFAS in almost every water resource. The only places where we did not find it were very, very deep reservoirs of groundwater. Solutions are finding new chemicals to these refrigerants, new chemicals other than these TFA pesticides or get, get rid of the PFAS pesticides altogether and invest in other forms of agriculture. Recently, um, it got um, a relevant metabolite due to the reprotoxic uh, properties. Um, this gives us the possibility to uh, regulate it uh, stricter. So this, of course, calls for a Europe-wide approach, setting a health-derived limit value for TFA so that we can protect Europe's water consumers today and in the future. There's impacts to liver toxicity, there's impacts to reproducible health that we're already seeing now. We're also worried about the impacts on soil health. So unless action is taken now to phase out these synthetic substances that have really only been produced since the 1990s, we are going to face a planetary threat. According to our knowledge, it can take decades until groundwater sources polluted by TFA become clean again. So we need action today to ensure that in decades from now we will have uncontaminated uh, groundwater resources again. These forever substances are directly and intentionally spread on our crops and the up residues in our food, in our soil, but also in our water. The situation is unacceptable. We, the Pan Europe, are asking for a ban of all these substances as soon as possible.